Acc- <laughs> 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 oh, According to all known laws of a, 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 a fucking oh, pretty word. good. <laughs> fucking there. Uh, oh, what the fuck did they say that? Now you come. Nah, no, I mean, we've got a fucking professor over here, boys. Evasion. Well, let's just fuck up. Well, yeah, she looks up right, mate. You're fucking right. It's not easy to get right, fucking. <laughs> you can leave all this in as well. According to all known laws of evasion, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies over anyway. Because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Oh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. Come in. Hang on a second. Hello. Barry, Adam, can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. <laughs> He's a graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect rep- report card. All bees. Hey. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing going here. You got lint on your fuzz. Ow, oh, that's me. Wave to us, we'll be in rare 118,000. Bye. <laughs> Barry, I told you, start flying in the house. Hey Adam, hey Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A little special day, graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school, three days high school. Those are awkward. Three days college, I'm glad I took a day in. Fucking around the hive. You did come back different. Hey, Barry. After growing a moustache, looks good. Here, here about Frankie. Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Every nurse stinks on you die. Don't waste it on a girl. Such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this. Incorporating. An amusement park in our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are. Be men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished bees. Please welcome Dean Buswell. <laughs> welcome. New Hive City, graduating class of 9.15. That concludes our ceremonies and begins and begins your career at her next industry. Will we will we pick our job today? I heard it's just orientation. Heads up, here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it'll be like. A little scary. Welcome to her next, a division of Honesco and a part of the hexagon group. This is it. Wow, wow. We know that you as a bee have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins <laughs> when our valiant pearl and jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula. It's automatically colour corrected. Scent adjusted and bubble. Contoured, fucking good word, aren't they? Into the soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow, you know as honey. That girl was hot. She's my cousin. <laughs> she is? Yes, we're all cousins. <laughs> right, alright, <laughs> our next. We constantly strive to improve every aspect of the. Fucking. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement, the Krellum. What does that do? Catches the little strands of honey that that fucking hangs after you pour it. Saves us a million. Can anyone work on the Krellum? Of course, most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully, because you'll stay in that job 
you pick for the rest of your life. The same job the rest of your life. I don't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees as a species haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death. We'll sure try. Wow, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever, that's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they never how could they never hold to us that? Why would you question anything with these? We're the most perfectly functioning society on earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Real neck to force approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, there's our pollen jocks. Wow. I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey jocks. Hi jocks. You guys are great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside the high flying, who knows where? Doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock, you have to be bred for that. Right. Look, there's more pollen than you and I will see it in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees make too much of it. Perhaps unless you are wearing it and the ladies see you wearing it. Those ladies. And they our cousins too. Distant, distant. Look at these two. Couple of hive harries. Let's have fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah, once a bear pinned me against a mushroom. <laughs> it's a fucking bear pinned you against a mushroom. <laughs> Pretty fucking big bear there, mate. <laughs> we had a paw. He had a paw on my throat. And with the other, he was slapping me. Oh my, I never thought I'd. Oh my, I never thought I'd knock him out. What were they doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities. I can't autograph that. A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, sir. Barry, a puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going 0900 at G Gate. What do you think, fuzzy boy? Are you B enough? I might be, it all depends on what 0900 means. Hey, Honex. Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in? Well, there's a lot of choices, but only but you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? So let me tell you about stirring. You grab the stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You'll get yourself into a rhythm. It's, it's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what, making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. You know, your son's not sure if he wants to go into honey. Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey, our son. The stirrer. You're going to be a stirrer. No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now and I'm gonna get an ant tattoo. Let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax, shave my antenna, shack up with a grasshopper, get a gold tooth and call everybody dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on, all the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stunt bee, horn stirrer, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on. Two left. One of them, yours, congratulations. Step to the side. What what did you get? Picking crud out, Stella. Wow. Couple of newbies. Yes, sir, our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? Now you go. Oh my, what's available? Restroom attendance open. Not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the crown Sure, you're on. 
I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> I'm sorry, the crowman just closed out. Wax monkey's always open. The crowman opened up again. What happened? A bee died. Makes an opening, see? He's dead. Another dead one. Deadly. Deadly field. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. That's life. Oh, this is so hard. Heating. Cooling. Stump beat. Pora. Stirrer. <coughs> Humming. Inspector number seven. Lint. Coordinator. Stripes. Supervisor. Mike Wrangler, Barry, what do you think I should? Barry, Barry? Alright, we've got the sunflower patch in, quad, in coordinate 9. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out? Out where? Out there? Oh no. I have to be, I have to, before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You crazy, hello? Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd. That gets their roses today. Hey guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight deck restricted. It's okay. You were uh, gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign here. Here, just initials. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. You've got a rain advisory today. As you all know, bees cannot fly in rain, so be careful as always. Watch your brooms. Hockey sticks, dogs, birds, beers, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of fruit beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it, babbling like a kicker. There. That's awful and a reminder for you rookies. Be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. Alright? Launch positions. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 what? Um. Run the buzz 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 bit. <laughs> what have you already done? Right, fucking come close. Buzz 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 buzz. Black and yellow. Hello. Are you ready for this hot shot? Yeah yeah. Bring it on. Oh. Wind check. Antenna check. Nectar pack check. Wings check. Stinger, check. Scared out of my shorts, check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. Pound those petunies, you stripped stem suckers. All of you drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue, I feel so fast and free. Box kite, wow, flowers. This is blue leader, we have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses, 30 degrees, roses, bring it around. Stand to the yeah. side, kid, it's got a bit of a kick. This is one nectar collector. Ever see pollination up the No, sir. I pick up some pollen here. Sprinkle it over here. Maybe a dash over there. I pinch on that one. See? That, it's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen. More flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Coopy, that visual. Pretty good reason, isn't it? Kill yourself. Wait, one of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say again, you're putting a moving flower. Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest, what is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this colour. It smells good, not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Oreo, or, colourful, yeah, guys. It's a little grabby. Oh, careful. Why does it say, oh, for K, for C? Uh. My sweet lord of bees. Candy brain, get off there. Problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative, very close. Gonna hurt. Mama's little boy. You are way out of position, Rookie. Coming in at you like a myself. Help me! I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You can start picking up honey because you're about to eat it. Yowza! Gross! There's a bee in the car. 
do something. I'm driving. PB, he's back here. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. For him, Granny. What are you doing? Wow. The tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't find him. Can't find him. Can't find him. Mayday, mayday, be going down. Ken, could you close the window, please? Ken, could you close the window, please? Check out my new zoom. I made it into a flood fold out. Brochure. Br brochure. You see flat falls out? Oh no, more humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time. This time, this time, this time, this time, this time, this time. This drips. This is <laughs> diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all my special skills, even my top 10 favourite movies. What number one Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that. Kind of stuff? No. Wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I have a job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's the way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter at first. I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B. Stand back. These are winter boots. Where? Don't kill him. You know, I'm allergic to them. This thing could kill me. Why does his life have less value than yours? Why does his life have a less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life is value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. I think this person's a vegan. Mm. My brooch. There you go, little know. guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brooch. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking you someone out is also a special skill. Right, bye, Vanessa. Thanks, Vanessa. Next week, you, you're good, mate. Sure, Ken, you know, whatever. You could put car carob chips on there, bye. Supposed to be less calories, bye. I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. Alright, here it goes. Nah. What would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a B-law. You're not so talk to human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No. Yes, no. Do it. I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's not good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Hi. I'm sorry. You're talking? Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. Okay, it's fine. I know I'm dreaming, but I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disgusting. This is all rain, it's Oh my god, so <laughs> This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am, and I'm not supposed to be doing this. But they're... <laughs> but they were all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I had to think thank you. It's just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah, I'm talking to a bee. And the bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Help. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Dada. Funny. You pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah. These are funny if we didn't laugh. We'd cry with what we had to deal with. Anyway, uh, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't know. Coffee? I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. I, it takes two minutes. It's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't have some. No, I can't. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to lose a couple of micrograms. I'm going to die. You can fucking cut the mic right now. <laughs> Where? These trips don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you alright? No. He's making the tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on. Doom, 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 doom. What are you gay? <laughs> are you gay? And he says, watermelon. I thought you said gentleman. Go to melon. Go to melon. What? What's a go to melon? Is that a bee, Joe? That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what are you gonna do, Barry? 
about work, I don't know. I want to do my part of, for my for the hires, but I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents want me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. 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 Fuck off, mate. <laughs> you could have had a really high paying job of a doctor or a lawyer. Nah, you want to be a florist. You want to be a florist. Florist. Fucking kill yourself. <laughs> I thought you knew it already. Really? My only interest is flowers. <laughs> Our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there's my hive right there. See it? Got in sheep meadow. Yes, I'm right off the turtle pond. No way, I know that area. I lost a toe a ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You all right? Nah, um... Oh, yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry, I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd beat up the rest of my life. Are you okay? Can I take a piece of this with me? Sure, have a... <laughs> sure, here, have a crumb. Thanks, yeah. All right, well then, I guess I'll see you around. Oh, not. Okay, Barry. And thank you so much again for all before. Oh, that was nothing. Well, nothing. Not nothing, but anyway. This can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the shoot. Sounds amazing. It was amazing! Oh, shit, <laughs> Humans, I can't believe. Oh no, wait. It was the scariest moment. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, I can't believe this. You were with humans. Giant scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk, talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things. They drive crazy. Do they try and kill you like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How did you get that? Poodle. You did it, and I'm glad you saw whatever you wanted to see. You had your experience now. You can pick up, pick out your job and be normal. Well, 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 I met someone. You did. Was she a bee? Ish. A wasp, your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. Spider, I'm not attracted to spiders. That's what I put into the room. Ah, you get some. <laughs> well, I guess I'll tell you. Right, fucking. Where are we up to? Spider, I'm not attracted to spiders. I know it's the hottest thing. With, I know it's the hottest thing with eight legs and all. I can't get it by that face. So, who is she? She's human. No, no, that's a B-Law. You wouldn't break a B-Law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh boy. She's so nice and she's a florist. Oh no, you're dating a human florist. We're not dating. You're flying outside the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes. We're power washers and M8 and M8 is one eighth a stick of dynamite. She saved my life. And she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crumb. It was so stinging stripe stripy. And that's not what they eat. That's what's false off what they eat. You know what a cinnamon is? No. It's the bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up. Sit down. Really hot. Listen to me. We are not them, we're us. There's us, and there's them. Fuck. <laughs> yes, but who can deny the heart this is yearning? What, are you gay? There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. Yeah. You have to go. Yeah, fucking look, mate. Yeah, come. I think that's yawning. No, yawning is in it. Right, let's Google that's, spell that's yawning. Right, Google to spell yawning. That's, that's, that ain't I, yawning. That is oh, it is fucking yawning, isn't it? <laughs> Are you sure? Fucking yearning. Fucking. Well, no, fucking. Flowerist. Fucking oh, kill yourself, you gay cunt. Right, fucking. Right, where am I now? Listen to me. You have to go start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. 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 There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Barry? I gotta start thinking, B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? 
I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What? Life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Will it kill you to make a little, honey? Barry, come out. Your father's talking to you. Mine. Would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. Come in. Got everything? All set? Go ahead, I'll catch it. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa. We're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not yelling to this. Listening to this. Sorry. I've got to go. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl? Is that why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's B-ish. <laughs> they have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasade Pasadena. To be in the Tournament of Roses. That's every flourish dream. Upon a flirt, surrounded by flowers, crowds cheering, a tournament. Do the roses compete in athletic events? No, alright, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, okay, I see, I see. Alright, your turn. Tiva, you can just freeze live TV. That's insane, you don't have that. We have Hiva, but it's a disease, it's horrible. Horrible disease. Oh my. Dumb bees. You must want to sting all those jokes. We're not trying to sting, it's usually fail for us. Sir, you have to watch your temper very carefully. You kick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter or throw it out and throw it out. Work through it like an emotion, anger, jealousy, lust. Oh my goodness. Are you okay? Yeah. What is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anyone. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and save curricula. Yeah, it was. How did you know? It felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. You've really got that down to, to, to a science. I lost a cousin to Italian Berg. I'll bet. What in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did this get here? No, not even a sip. Ray Leota Private Select. Is he the is he the actor? I never heard of him. Why is this here? For people we eat it. You don't have enough food for your own. Well yes, how do you get it? Bees make it, I know who makes it. And it's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need the whole Kremlin thing. It's organic. It's our it's our organic. It's just honey, Barry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale. I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector. You almost done? Almost. He's here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now. And just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. I knew I heard something, so you can talk. But we're not even out there. I can talk, and now you'll start talking. <laughs> Where are you getting the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want to do is upset bees. You're too late. It's ours now. You, sir, have crossed the wrong sword. You, sir, will be lunch for my iguana ignitio. Where is the honey coming from? Tell me where. Kill yourself. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. My phone's about to die. Or is they put. Alright, where are they, boys? Alright, this is gonna be the guest plug, but I'm gonna try it. I swear that one just fucking shuts off and it off. Excuse us. There's a bit of cancer going on. Uh. Maybe we should fucking I'm sure it's maybe I should charge before fucking. Yeah, probably. Take you in the Tell me where. Oh yeah. Tell me where. Honey farm. It comes from honey farms. I as a person, what horrible thing has happened here? 
these faces they never knew what hit them and now they're on the road to nowhere just keep still what you're not dead do i look dead they will wipe anything that moves where where you headed to honey farms i am on i am on to i am on to something huge here i'm going to alaska moose blood crazy stuff blows your head off i'm going to ta takoma and you he really is dead all right uh-huh what is that oh no a wiper triple blade triple blade jump on it's only chance b why does everything have to be so doggone clean how much do people need to see open your eyes stick your head out the window from npr news in washington i'm or i'll KSL, but don't but don't kill no more bugs b moose blood guy you hear something like what like tiny screaming turn off the radio what's up b boy hey blood just a row of funny jars as far as the eye could see wow i assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting it i mean that honey is that honey that was bees hang tight they're all jammed in it's closed it's a close community, not us, man. We, on our own, every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito, you in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack, see a mosquito, smack, smack. At least you're out in the world, you must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up, get with them off, dragonfly. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. You got to be kidding me. Mooseblood's about to leave the building. So long, B. Hey guys, Mooseblood. I knew I'd catch y'all down here. Did you bring your crazy straw? We threw it in jars, slap a label on it. And it's pretty much pure profit. What's, what is this place? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads, pinhead. Check out the new smoker, oh sweet. That's the one you want, the Thomas 3000 smoker. Wait, where are you up to? Um, there's Ninety puffs a minute, semi-automatic, twice the nut, nicotine all the time. A couple briefs of this knocks them out. They make the honey, and we make the money. They make the honey, and we make the money. Oh, my. And what's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know you're in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen had, was moved here. We had no choice. This is your queen. That's a man in woman's clothes. That's a drag queen. <laughs> oh, no. There's hundreds of them. Bee honey. Our honey has been resiling. Brazilianly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you humans are talking, taking our honey? That's a rumour. Does this look like rumours? That's a conspiracy theory. He's obviously doctored for, <laughs> doctored for us. How did you get mixed up in this? He's been talking to human. Humans. I might want that man, I'm a fucking idiot. He has a, a human girlfriend and they make out. Make out? Barry! We do not! You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I dated a cricket once in San An Antione. San Antonio, yeah, fuck off me. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, this is what you want to do with your life. I want to do it for all our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so overworked. Your hands were still staring. You couldn't stop. Staring. I said staring. I want staring. I mean, I want to listen to this back after this. Right, what minute was it? Uh, 34. I remember that. What right do they have to our uh, honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. 
Even even if it's true, what can we be do? One be do. Sting them where it really hurts in the face, the eye. That would hurt. No. Up the nose. That's a killer. There's only one place you can sting the humans. One place where it matters. Hive at five. The hive's only f f full. Our action new source. No more bees. Be no more bee beards. With Bob Bumble at the a anchor desk. Weather with Storm Stinger, Sports with Buzz Larvae, Larvae, and Genetic Kong, 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 Packaging it up and profiting from it illegally. Remember that, illegally. Next time you buy a bit of honey, remember it's illegal. You're almost fucking over on you get a coin. Tomorrow night on B Larry King will have the former queens here in our studio discussing their new book. Classy Ladies out this week on Hexagon. Tonight we're here talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think I'm think I'm a kid from this hive. I can't do this. Bees have never been afraid to change the, the world. What about B Columbus? B Gandhi? B Jesus? Where I'm from we never see humans. We were thinking of stickball or candy swords. How old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case. Which will be the trial of the bee cent century? You know they have a Larry King in Human World 2. It's a common name next week. He looks like you and has a shirt and his suspenders and coloured dots next week. Glasses, quotes on the bottom from the guests even through, even though you just heard them. There next week, next week. They're scary, hiry and there. Here, live. Always learns forward, pointy shoulders. Squinty eyes, very Jewish. The B movie's fucking racist. In tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not gonna take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actually, work going on here. Is that the same B? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello. Hello, B. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you Timberland, Timberland size 10 and a half vibrant soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go, because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Bye bye. Why is it yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam. We're here. Where he, Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting, how many sugars? Just one. I try not to use the competition. So we are helping me. Bees have good qualities, and it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flower, flowers, people are giving balloon bouquets now. Those are great if you're there, if you're free. And artificial flowers. Oh, those just get my psycho, psychotic. Yeah, me too. Bent stingers, pointless pol 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 pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than a daffodil that's had work done. Maybe this could make up for a little bit. This lawsuit's a pretty big deal, I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? I am sure. When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home! Without playing pain and royalty. <laughs> this thing's just stupid. Where the world anxiously waits because for the first time in history we will hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? It's a pretty big isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think billion dollar multi multinational food companies have good boys? Everybody needs to stay behind the Barry. Barry, uh, Barry here. You got three more minutes left, you can. Ah, mate. Ah, you're doing it. You're doing it. Shut up, I will kill you all. 
Oh wait, I can't find it. Nah, What's the matter? I don't know. I just got a chill. Well, if it isn't the B team, you boys work on this. All rise the Honourable Judge Balbleton presenting All Right Case Number Four Four Seven Five. Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson versus the honey industry is now in session. Mr. Monsagumi, you're representing the high five food companies collect collectively. A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing all all the bees of the world. I'm kidding, yes, your honour. We're ready to proceed. Mr. Monsagumi, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in the toopsy turvy world Mr. Benson imagines, just think of what it would mean. It would have to negotiate with the silkworm or the elastic in my britches. Talk and be. How do we know this isn't some part of a holographic motion picture capture via Hollywood wizardry. They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning for all we know. He could be on steroids. Mr. Benson, ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey, pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take it from us. Because we are the little guys. I'm hoping that after all this over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you're not only taking everything we have, but everything we are. I wish I'd he dressed like that all the time, so nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Klaus Van Hydren of Honey Farms, big company you have. I suppose so. I see you also own Honey, Burton and Hon Honron. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper. I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any beef free ears, do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No? No? Because you don't free bees. You keep bees. Not only that, it seems that you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yogi bear, frozy bear, boulder bear. You mean like this, bears kill bees. How do you like this head crashing through your living room? Biting into your couch, spitting up your fruit, fruit pillows. What the fuck are you? That pillow's a bit. Well, so far. Right. Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mrs. Singh, thank you for being here. Your name interrogates me. Where have I heard it before? I was with a band called the police, but you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. And so here we have yet another example of bee culture casually stolen by a human for nothing more than a prance about stage name. No, oh, please. Have you ever been stung, Mrs. Thing? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say, Mr. Gordon M. Summer? That's not his real name, you idiots. Mr. Lyotaf, first delighted congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I see from your resume that you're divisionally handsome, no, devilishly handsome, with a churning, no, churning inner turmoil that's ready to blur. I enjoy what I do. It's that, is that a crime? Not yet, it isn't. But is this what it's come to for you? Exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir? Watch it, Benson. I could blur right now. This isn't a good fella, this is a bad fella. Why doesn't someone just step on this creep and we can all just go home? Order in this car. You're all thinking it. Order, order, I say. Say it. Please sit down. I think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are we doing everything right, legally? I'm a florist. Right, well, here's to a great team. To a great team. 
Well, hello. Ken, hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Now, that was lucky. There's a little left. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit. Right there. Ken. Barry was looking at your resume and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? I know how hard it is to find the right job. We have that in common, do we? Bees have 100% employment, but we do but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's that's just what I was thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that's all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know I've just about had it with your little mind games. What's that? Italian bug? Mamma mia, that's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. Remember what remember what Van said? Why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny, I just can't seem to recall that. I think someone's I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Water bug, not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, well, well. A royal flush. Your bubble from Emma. Surf's up, dude. Poo water. That bowl is gnarly. Except for the dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee. And he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in life. And you're one of them. Fine. Talking bees. No, yogurt knife. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotion, emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about all that. I, I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I could overcome it. Well, are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry Benson B to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he is considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah. Layton, you've got to leave some magic with this jury or it's going to be all over. Don't worry, the only thing I had to do this turn the jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You've got you got the tweezers. Are you allergic? And only, only to lose him, son. Only to lose him. Mr. Benson B, I'll ask you what I think. We'd all like to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We're friends. Good friends? Yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little bed bug? I've seen a bee, I've seen a bee documentary or two from what I understand. Doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children? Yeah, but so those aren't your real parents? Oh, Barry, yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. Don't you all date your cousins? Objection. I'm going to pincushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I am hit. Order, order. The venom, the venom, the venom is coursing through my veins. I have been felled with a winged beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages. <laughs> Stinking is the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angle of mercy will come forward to this stuck the poison for my evening buttocks? I will have order this in this cot. Order, order, please. The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees. Yesterday you were not there. 
legal team stung Leighton team on Gummery. Hey buddy, hey. Is there much pain? Yeah, I, I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter what matters if you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They got it from the cafeteria downstairs in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery stick on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all... All adrenaline. And then... And then... Exit. Ecstasy! Alright, you think it was all a trap? Of course, I'm sorry, I flew us right into this. What were you thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. I don't know. I hear they put the roaches in motels, that doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my. Could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke? Bees don't smoke. Right, bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke, but some bees are smoking. That's it, that's our case, it is. It's not over. Get dressed, I've gotta go somewhere. Get back to the car and stall. Stall anywhere you can. And assuming you've done the step correctly, you're ready for the tub. Mr. Fenman, yes, yes, your honor. Why is the rest of your team? Well, your honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly haphazardly. And as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually heard of a funny story about Your Honor. Haven't these, rid haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up enough of this court of valuable time? How much longer will this allow these observed shenanigans to go on? They have presented not compelling evidence to support their charges against Miss my clients. Human legitimate businesses and move for a complete dismissal of the entire case. Mr. Fleming, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Munting for his motion, but you can't. We have a terrific case. There is your proof, there is the evidence. Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, Your Honor. You want a smoking gun? Here is a, here is your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What this? This is harm. This harmless little contra contraption. This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look what has happened. To bees who have never been asked, smoking or none. Is this not nature intended for us to be forcibly addicted to smoke machines and man made wooden slat work camps? Living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man. Why are, what are they gonna do? He is playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free these bees. Free the bees, 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 free the bees. The court find the favour of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I knew you could do it. High five. Sorry, I'm okay. You know what this means. All the honey, we finally belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unhealthy version of the balance of nature, Benson. You'll regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? Alright. One at a time. Wait a bit. Yeah, you'll regret this. You'll regret this. this so Barry, how much money is out there? Honey is out there. Alright, one at a time. Barry, how are you wearing? My sweater is well flowing and I have no pants. Well, what if Montgomery is right? What do you mean? We've been we've been living the B way a long time. Twenty seven million years. Congratulations on your victory. Well what you demand is a settlement. First we'll demand a complete shout down shut down of all the work camps. Then we back the money, the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop, we demand an end to the glorification of the bear and anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath stink machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal, take him out. He'll have nauseas for a few hours and he'll be fine. And we will no longer tolerate the negative nicknames. But it's just a prance about, about stage name. Unnecessary inclusion of honey in bogus health products and la di da human tea time snack ganachements. Can't breathe, bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good, tap it. It's the Buzzwell. We just passed three cups and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down. We've never shut down. Shut down honey production. 
stop making money. Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Cannonball. We're shooting honey production. Mission about aborting pollination in next day early return to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much money was out there. Oh yeah? What's going on? Where's everybody? Are they out celebrating? They're home. They don't know what to do. Laying out. Sleeping in. I heard your uncle at Carol was on his way to San Antonio. We have a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think so. What if humans liked our honey? We wouldn't. It's the greatest thing in the world. It was excited to be a part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I wanted to do it really well. And now? And now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. <laughs> honey really changes people. You don't have any idea. What's going on, do you? What did you want to show me? This. What happened here? That is not the half of it. Oh no. Oh my. They're all wiltering. W wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No. And whose fault do you think this is? You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Bees. Specifically, me. I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. That's our whole sat test right there. Take away produce that affects the entire animal kingdom. And then, of course, the human species. So if there's no more po pollination, if it could all just go south here, couldn't it? I know this is also part, part, partly on my fault. How about a suicide pact? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking piss me. <laughs> there was a Jewish joke in here, now there's a suicide pact. <laughs> I know this is also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? <laughs> How do we do it? I'll sting you, you step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry. Sorry about. Sorry, but I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa, Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of Rose's Rose's Rose Parade in Pasadena. They moved it into this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever see. It. I have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn it out like this. Uh. 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 Oh, <laughs> nah, no. A long time. That's <laughs> yeah, it, right? Hang on, what word we? Have you got it? Yeah, I've got it. I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant it to analyze. I know my neither. Tournament of Roses, Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute, Roses, 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 Vanessa, Roses, Barry. Roses are flowers, yes they are. Flowers, bees, pollen. I know, that's why this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry. Okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster, all my fault. Is it kind of is? Everyone in the planet, I wanted to help you. With a flower shop, I've made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you will be mulling, but I have another idea, and it's greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. Alright, here, there, have the roses. The roses have the pollen. I know every bee plant and flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back here with what we got. Bees, pack, pollen, flowers, repollination across the nation. Turn on the roses, Pasadena, California. They've got nothing but flowers, floats, cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have no idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD. Official flower business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. Nice approach. Thank you. It was a gift. Once inside, we just pick the right float. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess and you could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Where should I sit? Why are you? I believe I'm the pea. The pea? It goes under the mattress. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. You do that. This whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Hey, what are you doing? Then all we do is blend in with traffic without uh, uh, arousing suspicion. Once at the uh, airport, there's no stopping us. Stop security. 
and you insist insect pack your float. Yes, has it been in your uh, position the entire team? Would you remove your shoes, remove your stinger? It's part of me. I know, just having some fun, enjoy your flight. Then, if we're lucky, we'll have an just enough pollen to do the job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just a no, no for fuck's sake. No. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is gonna work. This, it's got to work. Attention, passengers. This is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Gary, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I've got to get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I get help with the Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order. The talking inflatable nose there. Cut to add in the real situation. What do you say? Hi, nothing. Hey. I don't think out my entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an. Atroni. Who's an Atroni? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would I miss Vanessa Blue in 24B? Please report to the cockpit. And please hurry. What happened here? There was a dust buster, a tiku, a life raft exploded. One falls, one's in a boat, their boat from conscious. Is that another B joke? No. No one's flying the plane. This is JFK Control Tower Flight 356. Watch your stats. This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm a forest from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, so. And so it has the cop. Co pilot. Not good, does any nuts on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who is that? Very dancing from the Honey Trial of Group. Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal D. It's got giant wings, huge engines, I can't fly a plane. Why, why not? It isn't John Travolta, a pilot. Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry, we're heading into some. I just saw that. Lightning. This is Bob Bumble. We have some late breaking news from JFK Airport. Fucking JFK Airport. New York. Where a Not suspenseful like scene is developing. Barry Banson, fresh from his legal victory, that's Barry. It's an intense salon. Oh. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Technically, our bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. Haven't we heard this a million times? The surface area of the wings and body mass makes no sense. Make right, Makes no sense. <laughs> reading it out of you. The surface area of the wings and body mass just makes no sense. Get this on the air. Got it. Stand by. We're going live. The way we work may be a mystery to you. Making honey, that's a, lot of, that's a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than we realise to us, to everyone. That's why I want to get bees. Back to work together. Back, back to working together. That's the bee way. We're not made of gel. Gel fucking hell. I put that in here, shit, man. We get behind a fella. <laughs> black yeah. and yellow, hello? We get behind the fella, black and yellow, hello? Left, right, down, hover, hover, forget hover. This isn't so hard, beep, 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 beep. Barry, what happened? Wait, I think we're on autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me, and now we're not. So it turns out, I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fella, move it out, move out. Our only chance is if I do what I do. You copy me with the wings of the plane. Don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with this panicky turn in your voice. It's not a turn. I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You 
You snap out of it, 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 you snap out of it. Hold it. Why? Come on, it's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Benson, got any flowers for a happy occasion in here? The pollen jocks. They do get behind the fella. Black and yellow. Hello? Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Alright, let's drop this tin can on the black the black top. Wait, I can't see anything, can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on. You got to think B, Barry. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think I'm feeling something. What? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's Sean pulling me like a like 27 million year old instinct. Bring the nose down. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. What in the world is that? What in the world is on the tarmac? Get some lights on that. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Vanessa, aim for the flower, okay? Out the engines, we're going in on B power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good, good. Easy now. That's it. Land on the flower. Ready? Full reverse. Spin it, ra- spin it around. <laughs> Not the flower. The other one. Which one? That flower. I'm aiming at the flower. That's the fat guy in the flowered shirt. I mean, <laughs> giant <laughs> satin flower made of a million bees. Pull forward, nose down, tail up, rotate it around. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. Am I cuckoo kaku, or is this plane flying in an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it, be a part of it. Aim for the centre. Now drop it in, drop it in, woman. Come on, already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes. No high five, right? Barry, it worked. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course I saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you. But we're not done yet. Listen, everyone. This front of it is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. That means this is our last chance. We're um, we're the only ones who make honey, pollinate flowers and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? Are we going to be bees or just museum or natural history? Keychains. We're bees. Keychain. Then follow me. Accept keychain. Hold on, Barry, here. You've earned this, yeah. I'm I'm a pollen duck and it's perfect fit. All I gotta do are the sleeves. Oh yeah, that's our Barry. Mum, the bees are back. If anybody needs to make a call, now is the time. I got a feeling we'll be working there tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I can I help you next? Would you like some honey with that? It's a bee approved. Don't forget these milk cream cheese. It's all me and don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I have no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me, my mosquito associate? Will you help me? Sorry, I'm late. Here's a lawyer too. I was already... I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I need was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip order and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, man. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Barry. Can I help who's next? Alright, scramble jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. That bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of the office. You have got to start thinking bee, my friend. Thinking bee, me. Hold it. Let's just stop for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Everyone can stop. We stop here. I'm not I'm not making a major life decision during the number. Alright, take ten, everybody wake up guys. I have no virtual real rehearsal for that. Doosh! We finished. We it. fucking read the whole B movie script. Fuck me. Now it's now it's time to try and make a dick on the little fucking sound thing. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the dream. Oh,
pretty funny. That was actually pretty funny. Peace, niggas. Oh!